Thomas, uh, overall, rate that performance for me. Mm, an average performance, I must say. Um, the good thing is that we again look extremely solid. We're giving nothing away. Yeah, no, they had one one big chance uh, where it was actually a misunderstanding. I think Julian should just clear the ball. Um, uh, besides that, they have had nothing in, in 90 minutes. So that's the good part that we are still looking so solid. Another clean sheet, giving very few, nothing away. Uh, so that's a good part. Um, on the ball, yes, we dominate, especially the first half. I think first half we didn't, you know, utilize the space we had enough. Uh, we didn't utilize um, or put enough into the combination on the side. There's not enough running and, and the play and go on the side and produce crosses. Um, and second half, they were a little bit more on top of the game in the first 15, 20 minutes. Then we got back into the got got, uh, got the control, created opportunities, created the big chance for for Josh, where we normally put it, puts it uh, in the back of the net. Uh, but on the day, our front three. And in general, all over the pitch, maybe we didn't have that extra touch, that extra good pass, or that extra good uh, decision. So, we, so when none of the front three are really, really on it, um, then you need something special from Italy, nowhere. Uh, we didn't have that today. Against the Huddersfield side that are very much on the up, is it more of a case that you're happy with a point? No, no, I'm not happy with a point. We 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 went here for for three points. Uh, that that was what we. That was, that was the that was the task <laughs> to get three points here. Um, what we knew that is that the Huddersfields are um, a quite good side, and they are um, always well structured, and we know they are well set up. Uh, we saw that last time we played them. We saw that today. Uh, they're difficult to break down. It's, it's difficult to, to get some of the counters we're really good at um, uh, against them because obviously they know that that's a big threat. Um, uh, so uh, what I'm happy with, happy issue with is that we got a point on a day where we had an average performance. Some of the other games we played early in the season, we lost 1-0. Um, so that's a, a little progress and maybe that point can be very valuable uh, in the end of the season. You're missing Pontus and Matthias today, are they okay? Uh, yeah, they're okay. Uh, uh, but they had small issues. Um, uh, Pontus is the hip issue a little bit not, that has been a little bit ongoing hopefully we we find a way now to um, to treat it and, and, and get it better uh, hopefully we'll see him soon uh, back in the team that has got a low grade hamstring in, in the training on a Thursday so he just missed this game maybe the uh, the FA Cup game will be coming just just too short but uh, hopefully we'll be back in the team soon Talk about the FA Cup game. How much hunger is there from the dressing room to, to play a top Premier League side? Oh, of course, that's a, that's a big big challenge, and we're up for that, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, but first and foremost, we just need to yeah just handle a little bit of disappointment because we want to win all our games, and and especially when we when we only performed average for various reasons. Uh, uh, if we have performed top and lost one nil, okay, different, but. The performance was not, not not as good as we normally are. But that football, we all know that you very rarely play 46 top top matches. Uh, but so um, nil nil, a point, move on next game. And then just as an aside at the end, was it pleasing to see again more than 500 Brentford fans follow us here all the way? Yeah, massively. It's a long travel to Huddersfield. We are very pleased that they travel travelled with us and and supported us throughout the game. And yeah, no, we're pleased with that.